Okay, it's Christmas time. Got this here. It says it's aluminum nails, but I don't think that's what it is. I think it might be a uh, voltage potentiometer. Let's see. Okay, the unboxing of the theoretically new out of box, open box stock specialty. Go for, oh, that's a nice packing. Just takes up a little bit of space. And then we've got some repackaged packing. And then in here, we've got the money. Very well packed, and this is what you want. You want an RHS 500. Now this is by Ohmite, and it's a voltage regulator for some of the big studio E and E and MQ voltage or uh, MQ studio quiet plants. And sometimes guys sweep them. It looks very new like. Out. If I were to look at the details, it looks like they've been taken off another one or just poorly done. Hmm. Oh god. Well, they might be reconditioning these things or cleaning them with electric clean because that does not look new. looks like the one I have and I can clean it up to look like this so let's open up the other one I'll put that one back so in the original days of eBay I had a friend in the beginning I should say not the original I had a friend and she thought it was really cute that she put her camera on eBay that didn't work and was like, yeah, they paid me for it. And I thought, how terrible is that? Well, after she did that, I ended up selling a Mac computer on eBay. Guy met me in the uh, coffee bean and tea leaf. And basically handed me $27 or $2,800 for my Mac Tower, that's when they were changing them over to the um, new chipset and he was a Photoshop guy. So let's see, anyway, but it was a legit deal, so I hope people are selling good stuff. Can't stand it when they sell junk. And I'll definitely, as I'm recording this, I bought three of them. Why did I buy three of them? Because I don't trust the guys and they're selling them for one guy sells them for 25 and one guy sells them for 40. So here is an old Omite box, same thing. That guy actually put a packing slip in it. Let me open this one up. RHS 500 exact same unit open it up it looks exactly the same and it comes out and it looks very similar okay it looks very similar so I guess the man machine and manufacturing of these is just what that looks like and these don't get used, so very easily could be these Jamaramuses are selling the used one because they put the new one on their generator. Yeah, to me, I'm gonna call the Alone and it being brand new. One of the ways you can tell 
is might have a mark for the set screw. Yeah, it, might. it might be doing good, buddy. It might be. In there? Yeah, I'm making a video right now for the YouTubes. It oh. might be. It's okay. It might be. Let's look. So, would a new one have solder on there? Let's look. I guess. See that solder that dripped off there? And the solder that dripped off there? I don't know that they have solder on the ends of the new ones. I would say they don't. So, I'm thinking, yeah, what is this? Yeah, I'm not sure. Sad thing is you have to solder it on to see. I could be being too critical. This one doesn't even say oh my on the back. Where's the other one? Yeah, this one's all worn out. Oh, I'm pissed. I am just a little bit pissed. Let's look at this one. Yeah, this one's been used. See that? Look in there. Yeah. Yeah, so they're selling used junk. All right, I'm over it. I'm gonna report this guy, talk to him. Anchor Electronic Distributing Corporation, 20 Cobalt Road, South Hold, New York. Sells junk. I'll tell you about this other guy. He's the one that sold this one. That is used. See, they're not using that center connection. We use that. They're just using these two edge connections. So the other guy, he is from Barno Electronics, and he's in McKeesport. All right, both of them are selling junk, used junk. I mean, look at that. Look at that end there. 